My name is Katidia Coronado. Oh, and if you really want to throw in the Cuban part, it's Katidia Barbara Coronado. So, but I go by Katie, uh, and it's okay. <laughs> Let's get some energy. All right, looking good. All right, Brittany. <laughs> In news, I started when I was here at UCF. I was a student and taking some journalism classes and just really, really wanted to graduate fast. I was doing an internship at Telemundo and then they offered me a job and slowly but surely I got to a level of uh, comfort. Then I applied to the network in Miami and I graduated, moved away and that's what happened. It kind of seems like a fairy tale, but that's what happened. But I worked really, really hard to get there. I worked full time and went to school full time and I wouldn't change a thing. Then I went to the uh, Tampa market with the same company and that's how I transitioned into English. In Spanish, I think that the culture itself is just so different. I'll give you an example. In Miami, we're on deadline. We have 20 million things going on just like we do in English, but there's always time for a little Cuban coffee. And they, the lady passes by and she's like, hey, do you want, or one of your uh, coworkers, do you want some coffee? And all of a sudden you have time for a break. But I feel like in English, we're a little bit more structured and you know there's a f there's a line and you have to follow it and maybe it's my perception but from my experience I feel like that line is not as straight in Spanish and you can kind of go here and you can go there and you still get to the same place but hey take it easy relax a little bit and I, I found that to be a uh, plus to be able to live uh, and breathe in both of those environments. Then I bounced back to Orlando worked at WESH which is where the whole name change comes into play because I'm Katie Coronado. Thank you for joining us. Now tonight's big stories. Back then, when I applied for a job to transition into English from Spanish, I feel that sending out resumes and not getting callbacks was not based on the skills I had because I my skills stayed the same on the resume. What changed were the names of the companies throughout the years, which was the same one. It was just the parent company, and then the name which changed from Katidia to Katie, and that's what happened. And uh, after that, uh, I got into teaching because the transition was from that project to where I am now, it was one phone call. Dr. Brown said, hey, do you want to come and be an adjunct? We're trying to do something in Spanish, and here I am today. Sobre lo que tienes ya ahí. ¿Y qué te hace falta? Ok, lo que tengo ya son los rundowns, ya tengo la lista de todos los CGs y los gráficos. I've been working with students here at the Nicholson School of Communication to start a project called Nightly Latino. It's basically nightly news, so it's news, but covering Latino-based issues and in Spanish. And so what these students do is they become bilingual multimedia journalists so that they can become more marketable when they graduate. And at this time, we have several students who have been placed throughout the country. And that makes a big difference in the product, and that's what counts the final product. My name is Katidia Coronado. 